みなさんこんにちは日本語のアップデートの動画お久しぶりだね私には日本語の教科書が大切だと思いますあのだから新しい本買った本ね買った本を見せるよ So I have a stack of Japanese language learning books here just some of the books that I've bought over the course of a couple of months and I'm gonna show them to you in the order of which I bought them I will be 100% honest about the books that I'm showing you even though one of them I did get free from the author I totally believe in being honest with you about language books because Japanese is hard and you don't need me telling you about books that I don't like or that don't work The first one you've heard me talk about this series on the channel so many times before the Japanese from Zero series Series, and I don't think I have talked about this with you on the channel since、um, I picked up Japanese from Zero Four, which I'm almost done with. I think I have two more chapters left. And it's just more of what I loved about the、um, other three books, honestly. I like the integrated workbook. I like that I'm kind of forced to write a lot more in this. It will teach me the grammar and then immediately after have me do the exercises, which is good. And I also like the kanji writing、uh, exercises in this. I think a lot of people, they just learn kanji from an app and they don't do a lot of writing. And for me, it's been important to write kanji over and over and over again for me to get it. The only thing I will say about this book, as much as I love it, as much as I love it, like I promise you, I would probably give it up on Japanese without these books. Like I just would not have cared, to be honest. Um, there are a lot of typos in this, and there is a Japanese from Zero Discord where you can actually submit typos if you do find one. And then,、um, as other versions of the book come out, those、um, corrections are、uh, corrected. Even though there's some typos in this, it doesn't throw me off too much. This is a This is like my most vital tool in, in learning Japanese grammar. And even though I go to a Japanese class, sometimes I'm very overwhelmed in class and I will not understand the grammar they are teaching me until I go into it with this. And I think it helps that it's explained very well in this. And there's lots of exercises in this to help me. So, I, this is my holy grail of Japanese language learning, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna buy the fifth book very soon because I'm almost done with this one. So, you can get that on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get all these on Amazon, but I specifically bought that one on Amazon, and I'll leave any of the links for these books、uh, in the description below. The next book that I got is this、uh, N3 vocabulary book. So, as soon as I found out that I passed the JLPT N4, I told myself that if I passed, I was gonna go and buy myself some N3 books. I get really motivated when I buy new books, or at least、um, if the prize is me being able to buy new books, that motivates me to do really well. So I did really well on the test, and I was able to go out the next day when I found out I passed and get the N3 book. And man, I felt so cool getting N3 stuff, because this is basically what I would say the intermediate stage of Japanese, if we're going from like beginner, lower, lower intermediate, intermediate, advanced, and proficient. Um, I would say this is kind of like lower intermediate, intermediate level.、Um, and I really love this is、um, like Vocabulary Master, and they have pictures in here that explain some of the vocabulary words.、Uh, I don't think I have it, but there's a, like a red sheet where you can cover up the red text so that、um, you can study without cheating and looking at the answers. But it basically just goes through. Um, any of the vocabulary you're going to encounter. Oh, here it is. There it is. You see? Look, now you see the red letters. And now you don't. This is so many people in Japan and in Asia in general use this type of stuff. I don't remember having this system in when I was in college in America. I do not remember it, but it blows my mind. It'll go through、uh, words in alphabetical order. Um, that you might encounter on the N3. So, this has just been a good way for me to keep up with, like, okay, if I'm preparing for the N3, do I know most of these words? And if I don't know a lot of them, if I'm going through them and I don't know a lot of these, I know I'm going to be in trouble for the test. So, it's small, it's easy to travel with, it is self explanatory, it doesn't try to do anything fancy, it just gives you a word.、Um, the English definition, this also has the、um, Vietnamese、uh, in it too, because Vietnamese、uh, writing in it too, because a lot of people in Japan.、Um, That speak Vietnamese also take the JOPT.、Uh, so it'll have English Vietnamese、uh, if you need that.、Um, but yeah, I, I just like it that it's very simple. It gives you the word, the definition, and then it gives you a sentence that includes the new word. So very simple, not much to say here, but、um, definitely recommend if you're going to take the、um, JLBT so you can just go through it. 
and see what I do with this is I take a notebook and I'll just like write the word and I'll try to make my own sentences and then I'll meet with a Japanese teacher online or in person and then have them correct those sentences um, because sometimes the sentences in this book won't make sense to you and sometimes uh, maybe like the context of the sentence won't make sense to you so if you make your own sentences you can learn how to use these words um, yourself but just get it like please get it checked by um, a Japanese native speaker I have really learned the importance of native speakers lately. The next book, I this is my biggest regret and not in the case of like me regretting buying it, but me regretting that I haven't done that much of it. Um, this is uh, Nihongo Kaiwa, uh, Step Up Nihongo Kaiwa. Let's move a step up. Master Common Japanese Expressions by Manga. So I was drawn to this book. I bought this book at the same time as I bought the In3 book, um, which I bought at a bookstore here in Japan, but I'm pretty sure you can find them on Amazon as well. This book I was drawn to because I love manga and one of my biggest um, draw, like one of, one of my biggest um, goals for learning Japanese is I like I want to read manga. I want to be able to read manga. It's so cheap in Japan and you can get it for like a hundred yen and I could read so much manga but I cannot read Japanese well enough to read some of the manga that I want to. So I got this and it basically goes, starts the lesson off with you reading like a short little manga and then after it will go through the grammar and the words that you encounter in the manga and a lot of it is very natural Japanese as far as I'm concerned. So if you want a really fun way to learn Japanese, especially if you want to learn Japanese to be able to read manga and stuff, um, this seems like a really really good way. And the art's pretty good I and mean, it's pretty cute. So just anything where I can kind of take a break from just writing definitions all the time and filling in workbook blanks. Uh, I like I like to take a little bit of a break and read manga and it also um, be educational at the same time. I'm still learning Japanese, but I'm also having fun. So I just love this. I regret that I have not spent very much time in this, but I have done probably the first two or three units and I had a really fun time with this one. I learned Japanese in this that I never would have learned from regular textbooks, from JLPT textbooks. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in stuff that you're gonna encounter in manga, I think this is a really good one. The next book I picked up is also from the same author of the Japanese from Zero series. So actually um, I was sent this book for free from um, the Japanese from or from the From Zero company and I'm so thankful for it because I have the first kanji from Zero book. It is awesome. It is awesome. It's one of my favorite Japanese books. This one's awesome too. The main difference between this one and the first book if, if you have the first book or if you're familiar with it is that um, in the first book there was a spot under the kanji to write the kanji and in this book for whatever reason they don't give you a spot to uh, write the kanji they just like insist you get paper and you write it yourself which I thought I was gonna hate but I actually kind of like it um, I have a separate notebook like a whole fresh clean notebook specifically going for, for going through this book now I have barely touched this one the, some of these kanji are really high level kanji. I'm talking like N3 level kanji. I think by the end of this book, if you did the first one, you're gonna know, let's see. Oh yeah, easily over 400 kanji, like 450 kanji or something like that. The vocabulary is useful. It has amazing explanations for um, how you can use two kanji put together. This is my comfort kanji book. This is the one that I feel confident in that I can open it up and I know I'm gonna learn something. It's just fun. It's so freaking fun. Like I have other kanji books that just aren't are fun, but this is fun. I have not noticed many typos in this one at all. This is, I think, currently the newest From Zero book as far as like Japanese is concerned. So it's just so well done. It's so high quality. Absolutely love this book. I'm so happy um, that I got it sent to me. I just feel, I treasure this book so much. I take it everywhere I can. I do it all the time when I can. Okay, another kanji book. <laughs> so I started taking uh, Japanese classes in person here in town paid private lessons with a small group and the class recommended that I get this book. This is Kanji Master N3, um, Kanji for Intermediate Level. So a lot of the kanji that is here is actually also in Kanji from Zero 2, but without the English, uh, English explanations and without the fun, to be quite honest with you. So this is kind of what it looks like. You can see my god awful handwriting. Basically it will show you, the, the thing that I don't like about this book is it will show you the kanji, but it won't show you the stroke order. So each time my teacher has to show me the stroke order of the kanji, whereas Japanese from Zero Two will show you the stroke order. But uh, I never would have gotten this book um, for my own studies. I literally just got it for the class and I 
don't use it outside of class, <laughs> to be honest with you, which is why I am happy that I have kanji from zero two. It'll have a section that's kanji wo yomimashou. So let's read kanji where um, you have to look at the kanji and write the hiragana for it or like look, you know, the sounds that it makes. And then kanji wo kakimashou. Let's write kanji. So you have to look at the hiragana and you have to write in the correct kanji um, at the bottom. So that's pretty useful. And I this is like directly drawn from the kanji that you'll see in the JLBT. And I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. You will see um, kanji from this in the N3. It was like a direct copy. It felt so weird. I had only done maybe five or six uh, lessons out of this, so maybe like 20 to 30 kanji. And when I took the N3, which I unfortunately failed, but it is fine, I will take it again and I know I can pass it next time because I'll have more time studying in these N3 books. When I took the N3, I noticed that a lot of the kanji in that test was from the first like 20, kan 20 to 30 kanji that I learned here, so I was very thankful to actually have this book despite my feelings on it. So speaking of Japanese class, um, the other books that I have, because you can't just study kanji all day to learn Japanese. Unfortunately, I love kanji. I wish I could just study kanji all day and totally get Japanese. Um, I have these two books. This is Manabo Nihongo. So this is the um, grammar book. This is a level N3 grammar book that we use. And this is the workbook, uh, Manabo Nihongo Renshu Mondaishu, which is um, the workbook or the problems book, Mondai practice problem practice basically in class we will go through this book i feel the same way about this book that i do the n3 kanji master i would not have bought this book if it wasn't for the class i try not to write in this book i don't like to write in textbooks i i will write in the workbook all day so if you see that i haven't written in it um it, i i definitely have done this book but i just mostly do my writing in a separate notebook because i don't know i just want the textbook to be clean and I want to write a lot in the tech in the uh, actual workbook and write in a notebook. So there's no English explanations in this book, but it's fine because this is more for uh, an inter intermediate Japanese class setting. You can kind of see how like how much it throws at you. Like it, this throws a lot of grammar at you at one time. If you've completed Genki books, people always say like, "What's the next step after Genki?" A lot of people do go to these. In fact, um, my classes. I joined during the intermediate class, but the beginner classes for that school, they go through Mina no Nihongo and uh, Genki, and then they move on to these books. So it's a little bit harder to find intermediate up to like advanced and then proficient like N1 level books, but this is what was recommended to me. I don't have a whole lot of feelings on it other than I take it to class. This is the workbook that goes with it. I actually like the workbook better, but that's just me liking workbooks. You'll tell, I haven't really done much of it at all because sometimes in class we will skip pages. I would like to go back on my own time maybe and fill in some of this, but you can kind of see like, I'll do some there and then we'll skip like a lot of pages. Like we skip that whole page and then we'll do like this next or whatever. So we didn't, we barely use this. Like I bought it and I think we've opened it maybe three times. Anyway guys, there's the haul. If you want more consistent Japanese language update videos, please let me know down in the comments. Like this video if you like it. A side note for you guys, I have lived in Japan for almost five years now. I'm, I'm like coming up upon, in, I'm in about a week, the five year mark, and I will be doing a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions you wanna ask, put them in the comments of this video specifically. I'll get to them hopefully in next week's video. If you have any questions about the books, feel free to put them below too. And I will put the links in the description for you. Most of these can be bought on Amazon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again later. Bye bye!